Jake and Emily, the two roaming souls, and this is our top 10 things to do in Bend, Oregon. Bend is a lively mid-sized city with a mountain town attitude. It's located along the Deschutes River, right where the high desert meets the Cascade Mountains. Nature addicts, foodies, and beer lovers can all find something great to do in this outdoorsy, dog-friendly town. And when the adventures are over, Bend is full of restaurants, shops, and more breweries than you can count. So let's get into the top 10 things to do in Bend, Oregon. Deschutes River Trail. This paved trail is one of the best ways to enjoy nature right within town. Walk or bike along the Deschutes River, enjoying views of the town, the mountains, and more. Cross the bridge near Southwest Colorado Ave to watch surfers and kayakers at the Bend Whitewater Park. One of our favorite spots along the Deschutes River Trail is Drake Park. It's got amazing green space, plenty of river frontage, and live music every Thursday in the summer. Plus, it's only a short walk to downtown. Explore Downtown Bend. Discover the awesome collection of businesses located in Bend. Find great restaurants, trendy boutiques, bike shops, thrift stores, art galleries, and more. Plus, shopping in Bend is always sales tax free. Visit the art show on the first Friday of every month the Farmer's Market every Wednesday, or catch a performance at the iconic Tower Theater. Tumalo Falls. This spectacular waterfall is an easy hike, just a 30 minute drive from town. There are many different viewpoints for all ability levels. The first viewpoint is just a short walk from the parking lot, or just a short trail to the lookout above the falls. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can hike down and even walk behind the falls, feeling its immense power. And if you still want some more exercise, continue on the trail less than a mile up to Double Falls. Try out some breweries. Ben has an insane amount of great breweries. Like so many, we could even make a top 10 breweries in Ben video. With big names like Deschutes Brewery, Ten Barrel, and Ben Brewing Company, plus so many other excellent smaller breweries, it's hard to recommend just one. But a couple of our favorite smaller ones are Silver Moon, Bridge 99, Craft, and The Good Life. So grab a beer after an adventure or make a day out of it by brewery hopping to a bunch of them. Several clusters of breweries make it easy to do this, even on foot. You can focus in on Downtown Bend, River West, Boyd Acres, or just bounce all around. And check their event schedules because they often have live music, comedy shows, and more. Float the Deschutes River. Taking kayaks, paddleboards, or floaties down the Deschutes River is a fun way to stay cool in the summer. It's almost entirely a lazy river, except for one well-marked section with a couple small rapids. However, you can exit the river and walk around if you choose. The most popular route is to put in at Riverbend Park and take out at Drake Park. You can rent gear from a local company that includes a shuttle back or bring your own gear and organize it yourself. If you need to get an Uber, we recommend parking at the takeout and then get a ride to Riverbend Park while you are still dry. Newbury National Volcanic Monument. This beautiful park showcases why Central Oregon is one of the world's most actively volcanic regions. From massive lava fields to cinder cones and lava caves, you will be impressed by the unique geology of the region. In the northern section of the park, you can explore the Molten Lands Trail right through the lava rocks or drive to the top of Lava Butte, a cinder cone with amazing views of lava flows and the volcanic peaks in the surrounding area, including the Sisters Mountains, Broken Top, Mount Bachelor, and loads of other cinder cones that dot the landscape. Atop the Lava Butte sits one of the most active fire lookouts in the Northwest. Hey look, there's one now. Just kidding, it was a prescribed burn for wildfire mitigation. The southern section of the park has two gorgeous lakes, Paulina Lake and East Lake, great for swimming or boating in the summer. Plus, you can drive right to the incredible lookout at Paulina Peak, providing great views of the entire Newberry Caldera, the lakes below, and the massive obsidian flow. Visit a food truck court. Bend has a really active food truck scene, so be sure to stop by a food truck court for some delicious affordable eats. Our favorite food truck spot is called Podski. There's a bar for drinks and a bunch of different cuisine options. Stop. 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 
or some other great food truck courts are attached to breweries, like the one at Crux Fermentation Project in Silver Moon Brewing. Honestly, the list keeps going. McMiniman's Old St. Francis School. This 1936 Catholic school has been transformed into a unique hotel with several pubs, a brewery, movie theater, soaking pools, and more. Honestly, it's hard to really describe this place. You just need to experience it for yourself. McMiniman's is kind of a Pacific Northwest gem. Their collection of businesses across Oregon and Washington offer eclectic lodging, dining, and entertainment that you won't find anywhere else. The Old St. Francis School specifically pays homage to the building's history with loads of historic photos, memorabilia, and students' artwork that turns the property into sort of a living museum. Wandering the dark, narrow hallways transports you back to another time. You could probably visit this place 50 times and still be finding new little Easter eggs hidden around the property. The old classrooms have been turned into hotel rooms that provide guests a one-of-a-kind stay. And the movie theater, soaking pool, and pubs are open to the public. It costs $10 per person for a one-hour soak, and movie tickets are super affordable too. Stop by one of the many bars on the property for drinks. The Fireside Lounge is perfect for grabbing a beer before heading for a soak. O'Kane's is an awesome cigar and whiskey bar. Sit inside by the wood stove surrounded by rich wood and stained glass windows, or outside on the patio by the fire pits. Plus, there's something kind of rebellious about smoking a cigar and drinking whiskey on the grounds of a former Catholic school. And there's even a secret bar in a broom closet somewhere, but that one you'll just have to find for yourself while admiring the extensive collection of concert posters adorning the walls of the art house. Tumalo Mountain Trail. This moderately difficult hike to the summit of Tumalo Peak offers incredible views of Mount Bachelor, Broken Top Mountain, and the Three Sisters. The trail is 4.1 miles with 1,400 feet of elevation, but the payoff at the end is spectacular. Go shopping at the Old Mill District. This hip shopping destination is the site of two former lumber mills that were integral to Ben's logging industry, when timber was floated down the river and processed here. But now it's been revamped into a trendy outdoor mall. Can you say anthropology and Lululemon? And here's a couple more honorable mention you might be able to fit into your visit. See a concert at the Hayden Homes Amphitheater. Drive the Cascade Lakes Scenic Byway. Take a day trip to the gorgeous Smith Rock State Park. Or if it's winter time, go skiing at Mount Bachelor or Hoodoo Ski Area. For even more information and fun things to do in Bend, go to our website, tworoamingsouls.com. We have much more info about Bend and also a detailed guide for floating the Deschutes River. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel for more adventure and travel content. See you next time.